Tina here and I just wanted to have a little bit of a heart to heart with you and just talk to you and see how y'all are doing. A couple weeks ago I posted a blog post about uh, my anger and like dealing with that. It was really hard for me to admit I had a problem like I knew I had the problem but I was just like kind of trying to hide it or whatever and um, my mom has actually been telling me about it for like months and I'm just like I was just, I just completely ignored her <laughs> but um, a couple weeks ago an elderly lady from our church came up to me and uh, she said you're beautiful but you're even more beautiful when you smile she's like you need to smile more and that in itself, like when people tell me, oh, you look like you're mad and all that, you know, I could be perfectly fine. I'm one of those people when I'm in a zone, of course I don't look happy because I'm concentrating. You know, that's just me. Like, I'm not aware of what I look like on the outside. I can be feeling perfectly fine and people perceive me as angry and I'm not. But when they mention that stuff to me, it makes me angry. And uh, so, <laughs> um, that being said, she kind of did make me angry <laughs> after that. Like, I was so floored. But then, um, it just stuck with me, and it just, um, God kept pressing my heart, like, you need to get rid of this anger. You need to let this loose, and you need to just free yourself from this. You, you know, I can only do so much, but you gotta allow me to work in your life. And that's what God has been dealing with me with. And there's a Bible verse that says, you know, to confess your sins one to another, and um, so, and I realized, you know, my anger and the things that I do in anger are sin, and so um, I went in confidence before the day that I posted the blog post, before all that, before I even wrote the blog post, um, I was talking to one of my good friends, Amber, and um, I... We weren't even talking about anger. We weren't even talking. Like, we were having a fun conversation, and I just started typing, and I hit send, and I'm like, whoa. I just sent all that to her. And it was kind of like a burden was lifted off of me because I finally faced the fact that I was dealing with something. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying that, you know, I always do the right thing every time. I have an issue in life, I always do it. And I'm not even bragging, I'm not trying to brag. But I feel like it's something that we all deal with. It's something that many people can benefit from and that's why I'm talking to you about it today. So I talked to her and then I posted the blog post. I was really struggling, like, should I even admit that, you know, I have this problem, that I am dealing with it? And, you know, I was just reminded, you know, none of us are perfect. Only God is perfect. God is God. And he's perfect all around, you know, so. <laughs> and I am nowhere near that. And I aspire to be that way. I aspire to be more like him. And, you know, sometimes coming to terms with the things that you deal with or, you know, coming to terms with the things you struggle with, you know, it gives you freedom. And I have to admit, you know, it's not easy and I have messed up since then <laughs> and I have you know had anger bursts you know I mean it does it's not something that goes away overnight if you're struggling with something it may not be anger it may be something else it may be you know lust or it may be pornography or some sexual sin or you know um, disobedience against your parents like it could be anything it could be lying gossiping whatever you're dealing with you know once you come to terms with that the devil's really gonna tempt you but you know you just got to keep pressing forward and just keep praying and keep fasting and just keep you know talking to God about it and you know it doesn't have to be some elaborate prayer you could be like God seriously why am I dealing with this just take it from me I want it I want you to have it just take it you took it on the cross it's done you know the devil's gonna come and tempt me but Lord, I know that if you are for me, no one can be against me. You know, you fight my battles for me. I cannot fight them alone. And so, um, 
Wow, <laughs> I almost feel like preaching. But uh, yeah, so I mean, no matter what it is, no matter what it is you're struggling with, no matter what the situation, you know, God has it all. You know, you just need to cast your burdens on him. Tell somebody about it, even if you're embarrassed. You know, I'm embarrassed because a lot of people perceive me as this sweet, loving, and kind girl. And, you know, <laughs> deep inside, you know, I tend to boil with anger sometimes, you know. Someone cuts in front of me on the road, I'll sometimes tailgate them, you know. Or I'll beat my horn at them. I used to call people idiots on the road. Like, they can't hear me. But, you know, that's another thing God was dealing with me, dealing with me with last year. Um, calling people idiots and stupid with their driving and everything. And he's like, that's my creation. You are devaluing my creation. And so, we have to learn to love. You know, when God takes... When we allow God to take something from us, he always fills us back up with something else. And I think with my anger, God is filling me with love and with patience and with peace. And not with just others, but with myself as well. Because a lot of times, you know, we may be angry at people and we might get angry, you know, easily. But sometimes it's because we're a little angry at ourselves or, you know, we're a little upset at ourselves and you know you just gotta get over that and get over that you know f emotion that feeling I feel like it's something that you know I don't think we always talk about it enough and I think a lot of people are afraid to talk about it I think a lot of people you know there's a lot of Christians out there well you're full of the Holy Ghost right you're full if you're full of G God's Spirit you're not gonna deal with those emotions ah uh, hello Yes, you are, <laughs> um, you know, and the same with people dealing with depression. Some people will be like, well, that's just a spirit of depression. If you have the Holy Ghost, you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be believing that. We are human. We deal with emotion every day. Life happens, and it's not always the devil. You know, life happens. Things happen. People tick us off, and, you know, sometimes it's just to the devil's advantage, and he'll take that, and he'll dig it a little deeper, but, um, I don't know it just you know it's something that I've been trying to work on in my own life I don't know who you are I don't know what you're going through but I don't know I just I just felt I needed to say that like you know it's time to be real with each other and it's time to you know be transparent and be honest like if you know me I'd rather the hurtful truth than someone sugarcoating a lie. And, you know, anger is something that's real. It's something we feel. It's something we deal with every day. I'm sure a lot of people that see this are gonna be a little shocked, but sometimes, you know, we all deal with invisible sins. I just posted a blog post today about it. And, you know, we all deal with those things. We all deal with hidden stuff, hidden, hidden baggage and skeletons in our closet. And that's just one of mine anger and you know I'm working on it every day yes I may fail but I get back up I allow God to dust me off take my hand and lead me again and uh, that's all you need to do and you know it's not just anger anything you're going through seriously seek someone seek pastoral leadership you know seek an elder seek someone that you know you can trust you know um, there are certain people that I didn't go to because, you know, sometimes things get around and I'm also a pastor's daughter so I went to someone who was outside of my church because, you know, at the time I wasn't comfortable with admitting it. Now, of course, it's on YouTube and my blog and, you know, possibly my Facebook and, uh, <laughs> you know, so now I'm fine because, you know, we need to be real and honest with each other. And it's just, you know, I, the things I post and the things I talk about and, you know, if I ever give advice or anything, it's from my own personal experience. It's from the situations that God has brought me through, that he has taught me. I don't know, I do not claim to know everything or anything about a topic, but I just know what I go through and I know what God has helped me with. I know what God is dealing with me. 
and my heart and I cannot just sit here if he's pressing on my heart and saying do this I need you to say this I need you to speak this into someone's life you know I can't just sit here and not do it and that's why I'm posting this video